yesterday spoke on losing, hashtag for the win, actually hashtag FGW. I knew immediately what that was, but I'm not sure everyone else did. <laughs> um, every time you give a speech, I feel like I'm fully engaged. I'm always listening, waiting for the next story you're telling. You seem to tell your stories very elaborately, but you're always still very calm and it's easy to understand you. When I talked to you last night, you gave me a good list of things that you wanted me to look for. And the very first one on the list was sarcasm and humor. And I think you definitely nailed that part of the speech. Right off the bat, you opened with a joke and it was, and that was completely not even, um, not even intentional. You hadn't planned that before you got here, so that was great work to just get everyone loosened up for your speech, especially for a speech today, kind of breaks the nerves. Uh, the, the focus for your speech from the evaluation standpoint was local variety. And just to read something quickly from the book, the speaker is to use a voice that is pleasing to listen to with proper balance of volume, pitch, and rate, and uses pauses to enhance his or her message. And I think you do that exactly, exactly what you're looking for. It's not necessarily you're yelling and then you're whispering, but it's just within your own personality, you seem to use pauses in a very effective manner. You're not exactly, you're not monotone. I think that's what you were worried about a little bit. You definitely were not monotone at all. Um, to add to that, you, you had a couple stumbles where you had to come back and look at your notes, but the whole time you seemed relaxed. You never seemed to speed up. And I even thought that you're, you, even at the beginning of the speech, you had a couple moments where you kind of rang your hand a little bit. But after that, even after you're positive, you seemed like that kind of went away. So you're almost more relaxed afterwards, which this is the kind of setting where if you're going to make a mistake like that, it's okay. It's actually, I think it's great to have that practice of forgetting because if you do it here, you, you know you can recover from it. But in a setting where it's more professional, where it's actually trying to get a certain point across, you know what to, you know to do now. So, um, uh, As far as timing, you hit that exactly like you wanted to do. Um, you made it within time. And you also wanted to focus on your conclusion, and you left us with a quote. Um, you could just quit or fail to start in the first place, and I think um, you have a perfect example today. You didn't quit, so um, I think you did a great job there, and I just look forward to.